With Finn Balor turning on the Judgment Day, there is a wild theory going around that the Wyatt Six and Finn Balor are going to have a major feud coming soon. Plus, after Jacob Fatu took a scary dive during SummerSlam last night, we have a major update on his injury status, and we're going to break it all down for you guys coming up on this episode of Wrestle Digest. But before we get into it, we have a word from our sponsor, NordVPN. In the WWE, defending your title makes you the best in the world. And if you want an extra layer of defense for your browsing, make sure to try out NordVPN, the fastest VPN on the market. A VPN or virtual private network encrypts your IP address so that when you're on public networks, you can create your own private network. This means you can enjoy Wrestle Digest and WWE on the go safely and securely. Right now, if you go to nordvpn.com backslash wrestle, you get an exclusive offer and can start browsing with your VPN today. But it's not just about how fast NordVPN is, they have you covered with their Threat Protection Pro. Kind of think of it as your personal Jacob Fatu on your computer, protecting you from any threats that may come your way. Also, when WWE moves to Netflix, people living in the United States can switch their location to Canada via NordVPN to watch all of WWE's content on their own Netflix account. So why wait? Upgrade your browsing experience today by going to nordvpn.com backslash wrestle to get an exclusive offer. Plus, NordVPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so why not try it so you never miss out on any wrestling content ever again? And a big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you want to get an exclusive offer, make sure to go down below in the description in the pinned comment to get your exclusive offer today and start browsing with NordVPN. But with that said, Brady, let's jump right into the first topic of the video today, which is Jacob Fatu injury update. And yes, last night, if you've seen SummerSlam, we got to see an amazing match between Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa in a Bloodline Rules match, which ended up having Jacob Fatu come out to attack Cody Rhodes. And when he went to hit a Samoan splash or Uso splash, whatever you want to call it, on top of the announce table, it looked like he hurt his foot or leg in some sort of way. A lot of people may have thought it was at work, but then when he tried to get up and fell right back down, a lot of people said, hey, he's probably injured here. And we did get an update on this last night where uh, he was seen with some fans post SummerSlam in a uh, walking boot, they say here on Wrestle <coughs> WrestleMania, that Jacob Fatu was seen after Summer slam with a walker boot on hope he's okay and brady i mean this is very very sad to see i hope it's not something serious uh, because that could lead to some major uh, implications here for the bloodline but it's not looking good for jacob fatu especially last night that was a very scary moment of that match oh my god what a match and what a wrestler jacob fatu is i mean he just brings such a presence to the ring and when he did the aerial attack, and he got that foot or the, the shin, whatever he had going there, uh, messed up. I mean, I thought it was a work. I was one of those uh, people. I was like, all right, listen, maybe Roman comes out, and they're going to just have Jacob Fatu be a work here. He can't really get up to help Solo. Protect protect his, like, beast mode, you know? And uh, But no. And this kind of sucks in a lot of ways because Roman is back. I mean, it's great for, for us if we don't like the new bloodline because, you know, you are not our tribal chief solo. Our tribal chief returned last night. Let's go, Roman. But, I mean, you know, this has huge implications. Like you said, uh, if this is going to impact the tag team division now with uh, the new bloodline just uh, winning the tag titles off of DIY on SmackDown, maybe they'll give Tonga Loa the title. What do you think about that theory, Casey? Yeah, I mean, Tangalo is already going in an eye patch, and now you got Jacob Fatu <laughs> going with the locker boot on. It is not looking good for the new bloodline <laughs> right now, but I really hope it's not something serious that where he may need to require surgery or something to, to take time off. I hope it's not that serious, and it's just maybe a sprained ankle or something like that. Uh, I, would, I would hope that would be the best case scenario here, mm -hmm. uh, and it only takes him a couple weeks to heal, but I mean, if it is a long-term injury, like you said, 
said, this has major implications on the whole Bloodline story. It's reaching its peak again now with Roman Reigns coming back last night. Superman punched Spear to Solo Sokoa, which I love to see. But if Jacob Fatu here now, uh, he's one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, like you just mentioned. This is going to be big because if he's injured and he can't compete, then they might have to strip the bloodline of the tag team titles unless, you know, Tangaloa magically takes off the eye patch and he's fine again. <laughs> I mean, who, who knows? But, I mean, this sucks because Jacob Fatu has been nothing short of amazing since he's entered the WWE and just seeing now that he's potentially going to miss some time from this injury, it, it really sucks to see. But uh, we hope for a speedy recovery for Jacob Fatu. We really hope this isn't serious and we'll keep you guys updated uh, once a, a timetable comes out on the Jacob Fatu injury. But uh, shout out Jacob Fatu. He really made that match awesome last night. I got I to gotta put that out there. But uh, we want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section on that. What do you think they're going to do with Jacob Fatu potentially out? Let us know down below. We're going to get into the second topic of the video today, which is... The Wyatt Six coming for Finn. And Brady, we talked about this a lot. I mean, a lot. We finally got it last <laughs> night. Finn Balor turning on Damian Priest. Yeah. Like finally, it's finally time for Finn to go out on his own and have a solo run. I love it. I love it. I love it. And if we just uh, take a look here at what happened last night, in case you missed it, Finn oh, came beautiful. out and hauled Gunther's foot up onto the bottom rope for uh, 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 to make a rope break after a, a pin attempt by Damian Priest, which then means he stabbed uh, Damian Priest in the back here by doing this. And then we get to see the Ring General Gunther win the World Heavyweight Championship with Finn Balor steering Damian Priest down in the ring. But you're probably thinking... What does this what does this have to do with the wide six at all? Well, we're gonna tell you right now. Because what Uncle Howdy and what the wide six have been all about since they came back to the WWE has been betraying your family. If you betrayed your family, we're hunting you down. We're coming for you. We're seeing it with Chad Gable right now. So with Finn Balor now turning on his family, betraying his family, it seems like Uncle Howdy. And the Wyatt Six are going to be gunning for Finn Balor uh, after he's done with his feud with Damian Priest. Or maybe even during it. The, we might see this right away. Who knows? But this is definitely going to happen. And another great uh, thing to, to show here, Brady, is that the Fiend's first match, Bray Wyatt, RIP, it, his first match as the Fiend was against Finn Balor. So wouldn't it just be great to see... Uncle Howdy's first match as, you know, the new leader of the Wide Six uh, be against Finn Balor. And one match we didn't get to see. We seen the Demon versus Bray. We seen the Fiend versus Finn, but we never seen the Fiend versus the Demon. So the perfect way to do this and to show hom uh, homage to Bray Wyatt would have to be Uncle Howdy facing out for Finn in his first match. I think this would just be the perfect way to do it. And the storyline's al already there. The, the hints are already dropped that now Finn Balor is going to be the number one target of the White Six. To quote Drew McIntyre, I prayed for this, and then it happened. Finn Balor turning on Damian Priest last night. Round of applause. Round of applause. We've been talking about it here, like Casey said, for so long manifesting it and then last night it happened uh gunther and damian priest what a phenomenal match i i didn't expect it to be as good as it was and uh hats off to both those guys i really like the way uh, it ended because you know it wasn't a clean win for uh the ring general here which you know some people expected it to be because damian priest you know some people weren't very fond of damian priest as champion uh, myself included but i like how they made him look strong in having the have a Finn Balor be the reason, you know, he ultimately lost the title. But as you said, this brings in the Wyatt Six with the betrayal storyline. And guys, I cannot express to you how excited this makes me. It is my favorite thing going right now, the Wyatt Six and Finn Balor leaving the Judgment Day. You put those two things together and I'm locked. I'm locked and I'm loaded and I'm ready for an entertaining night. Like, oh, this is going to be so good, Casey.
Yeah, 100%. I, I mean, I'm just excited to see a Finn Balor solo run again. I mean, yeah. I, he was such a good solo wrestler. He had the fans going when the lights come up. I will hope he brings back his old theme song because oh, that was too. unreal as well. And uh, I think it's just going to be great to see, you know, maybe, you know, he faces off against Damian Priest. Maybe it's at Bash in Berlin and we see the lights go down and, and the wide six come out after him. I think that would just be a great way to tee this up. And I would love to see uncle howdy's first match be against finn balor it would just be a, a great way to kind of tie it all together into the fiend bray Wyatt, and, and I, I would just love to see us i think they would have a great feud as well because if you remember i mean a lot of people did start stop watching wrestling during this time but the fiend versus finn balor bray Wyatt versus finn balor that feud was amazing their matches were amazing so, if we can get even a shade of this with the new Wide Six, which I'm sure we're going to because they are amazing right now. These VHS tapes are amazing. I would love to see this, and I can't wait for it to happen because it's definitely going to happen. They've already set it up with the betrayal of the family, and uh, it's going to be great to see. We're going to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about the Finn, Finn Balor versus the Wide Six? We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that down below in the comment section. But if you guys enjoy this video... Make sure down below, hit that like button. It helps push these uh, videos out to all the wrestling fans uh, on YouTube. Also, comment on the video. We'd like to hear your thoughts about anything we talked about today or just what was your favorite match at SummerSlam. We'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. And subscribe to the channel. We're on the road for 3,000 subscribers here before the end of the summer. So if you're not subscribed already, Make sure down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out a video uh, we did the other day talking about our SummerSlam pred predictions where Brady is and still predictions champion. Uh, I can't I can't buy a win right now, guys. So stay tuned because Bash at Berlin, we're coming back for the predictions champ. Uh, but make sure to check that video out. See what we got right, see what we got wrong. And uh, as always, we've been I've been your host, Casey, alongside my co-host Brady. We'll catch you in the next one.